sure we're live. Ooh. Should be. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to our channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is April twenty fourth, twenty twenty, and we're doing another drop in math tutoring session for the two thousand and two year, uh, two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty school year. This is number seven for two thousand uh, and twenty. I lost count of how many we did in 2019 uh, from the beginning of this year. And this is the second one we're doing uh, in a row. Uh, we did one yesterday as well. We did a little bit of mathematics and it was fun. Super fun, actually. All these math streams are super fun. Um, if you want to know who we are, uh, who I am, what I'm doing here, Patreon is uh, where I have, you know, sharing more information. It's a great place to support this project if you have the funds to support this project or follow this work and or follow this work because once you subscribe um, or follow on Patreon, you'll get notifications as to what we're loading on. Uh, so it's a great way to support this project and to follow the work that we're doing. I do upload everything there and share additional information and we will be sharing a lot more information on Patreon. We are live streaming this on Twitch. So if you wanna watch these things live, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay, uh, it's an amazing platform. Uh, we got a great, uh, great community set up here. So uh, very much do appreciate it uh, greatly. Okay, and uh, boop, boop. I do announce when we go live. About thirty minutes, usually half an hour before we go live. Uh, today was 20 minutes before we went live i overshot my timeline hello dragons how's it going hope you're doing well hello hello money man money man's in town how's life um so we do announce this stuff uh 20 minutes half an hour beforehand and share other content on twitter gabs mines vk and elo those are the five platforms that i'm active on and um, in terms of announcements anyway other than patreon of course right and discord hooked up with our twitter so we're trying to decentralize we're all over the place which is fantastic and i do upload these things to youtube and bitchute um, almost everything if it processes on bitchute most things on youtube unless the sensors really kick into high gear then we're gonna have to kick down uh, the type of content we share we've gone through that a couple times mask of raven how are you doing uh like your proof thing on uh on our discord math page i have to look at it cl more closely but it was like oh this, is, this looks beautiful right uh and we are at times of where there's a little bit of chaos in the world so oh how are you doing hey Chicho. uh ciao from italia hello italia how are you doing uh so you want to reduce the pressure on our systems if you are living in a place that there's severe pressure or there might be possibility of emergence re-emergence of certain things happening so be kind be careful uh, go slow uh, our pre-covid economic system was telling people that you got to go 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 consume 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 save 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 the economy post covid i think it's going to look a little different i think most of us are thinking about what is important and uh, we should be okay uh aside from that intro welcome to the mass stream gang uh, boop, boop. let me take these guys down i did the intro quick today <laughs> get into the chat so we don't miss anything right olive how are you doing how's life hello hello you're at 9 p.m your time i think 9 or 10 and i hope it's a good time for you hey you're for scotland scotland worth coronet i i have an amazing friend scottish amazing friend tucker is her name uh, what do you call it family name scots are an interesting group of people loyal loyal friends wow 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 right Hannah, hey Chicho, I have a problem. I I bought a small charcoal grill. You mentioned this last time, charcoal grill to make grilled meat, but I'm staying with my love partner in her studio apartment during quarantine. 
the upstairs outdoor rooftop lounge is closed I don't know where uh, can I grill some parks are open there's an extra area next to her apartment with outdoor concrete tables but it's next to the sidewalk where would be the best place uh, to use my grill and grill me I would say Hannah if you know a park a secluded park or something like this go to a secluded park unless uh, there's fire hazard so if there's fire hazard don't go to the parks and do a barbecue uh, because all you need is a little spark to start chaos you don't want to do that right a uh, beach is an amazing place man we live in the Pacific Northwest the number of beaches is amazing just you know I I'm pretty sure you guys can still drive to places so go to the beach the beach is an amazing place to uh, do a barbecue real homeless being how are you doing I think it's interesting to see how much our economy depends on frivolous spending how much of it insanity right and I'm hoping that as soon as we come out of this and even right now people don't go back to their addictions right because right now there's a lot of things closed right a lot of things that people were doing that were very destructive to their lives are closed so one thing you need to be able to break an addiction is distance is time right so right now there's a lot of people who've had a fair bit of distance fair bit of time from some of their addictions destructive addictions right and that's the definition of addiction anyway passion becomes addiction once you sacrifice everything for one specific passion then that's an addiction not good right uh, so we'll see what happens uh, uh, real homos being 10 o'clock it's a good time good to see you again chicho hope you're doing well doing well olive thank you very much uh, just going ballistic with online stuff and as you know I follow a lot of news and everything right so I love uh, I am not bored I am I'm waking up very early <laughs> very early spider-man how are you doing oh hello guys sorry I'm late how's it going oh spider-man spider-man is sometimes late isn't he I think so does your apartment have a patio no good question lack of caring does your apartment have a patio and some patios you can't barbecue on too either thank you Chicho. I will pursue the park no fire hazard right now it rained last night yeah yeah but sometimes you need a multiple days of rain to reduce the fire hazard right I will think about a beach too and bring a bucket for, uh, for water to put uh, put out the char for sure for sure you can't just dig it up and bury it right you need you know you need to put it out you need to put it out Ding Baba Chicho, I don't know if you remember, but I told you there was a beaver dam. Yeah, yeah, three beavers, you said, right? Near my house. Last night I saw two of them in the small creek they are inhabiting. They both smacked their tails to let me know I was not welcome. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Beavers, finicky little buggers, aren't they? <laughs> well, that's the thing, Chicho. I was stating or trying to state a fact our economy depends so much on frivolous spending and it doesn't go back after COVID then our ec economy will shrink not necessarily it's gonna grow in different areas there are uh, businesses systems uh, things that are in high demand right now extremely high demand right now right so there are certain things that have collapsed and some of them will never come back again and there is industries that are popping up and people providing services for things that are lacking that people need we're gonna see a serious shift this is one of the greatest economic shifts like one of the huge ones right there was a huge transfer of wealth from the bottom to the top with a multi-trillion dollar handout to Wall Street again right however we're also seeing a huge shift right there's going to be a lot of small businesses that go under and the big corporations some of the bigger ones are going to consolidate more power now it's our choice if we want to give them that power right because that's the only way they can consolidate centralize more of it right I'm betting that there's going to be a lot of mini mini economies popping up everywhere right that are 
that are that is that are doing less bleeding to the centralized institutions that's my guess okay good afternoon Catholic traditionals how are you doing Martin locked down in a pub no I'm drinking down the cider I was on no brother god dang it <laughs> yeah your 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 situation is uh is different than a lot of other people right like i know people who have gambling addictions right but the casinos are closed they're saving money right <laughs> they don't have they can't and man interacting with them is different talking with them is different obviously not in person but when you're talking with them in, interacting with them their their focus is not the casino right it's beautiful they're, they're they're becoming who they were before their addiction right i'm loving the look today nice teach uh spider-man peter is never on time for some reason i thought the stream was 1 30. yesterday's stream was 1 30. and i i i messed it up too it it uh i was supposed to announce the stream 30 minutes beforehand i announced it 20 minutes i went oh my god i forgot how to i forgot to announce it i forgot to announce it i know everyone has their theories on life after covid but here's mine ah let's read this real homos being if this virus returns periodically just like the flu then this virus will single-handedly reverse all the progress we made in life expectancy since it seems to mostly kill the old um da, 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 da. let's think about that think about the data you're it might be a blip because there is going to be a certain amount of immunity associated with that as well you might you know there there might be there's going to be there is already and there will be a major uh numbers wise and this is very much math related so it's brilliant uh we're seeing a we're going to see a baby boom right so there's going to be a baby boom coming okay um uh, the unemployment rate is going to be the same there, there, dude there's so much um uh, will we see a permanent decline in life expectancy i think we are we were already seeing a decline in life expectancy if you look at the, the stats for the united states i'm not sure about canada because i looked at the united states before and life expectancy in the united states for at least two or three years was declining right so we're gonna see a bigger boom on that possibly okay I've mentioned before I was previously drunk three to six times a week haven't had a drink since mid-march awesome dragons that's really good by the way I got some matcha going right now okay it's really good matcha is amazing tons of antioxidants and minerals and stuff like this congrats man i'm very happy for you spider-man says yeah seriously dragons great job ding bobber says keep it up i just quit drinking again two days ago nice hello friend i know you can do it yeah for sure you have a will of iron uh, it, it, the first few months of and it's and it's a lifestyle right it's not just the drinking it's the lifestyle once you stop doing something that had completely taken over your life now you're sitting there going what do i do what do i do what do i do the anxiousness the anxiety the the the, the twitchiness and stuff like this right um fill fill that void uh if the streams do it <laughs> you're welcome here uh, always always right you have a will of it good evening chicho and chichonians hello nate how are you doing hope you're doing well uh, good to hear good to hear indeed great to catch another stream hello m 1k what are the two blanks stand for m k if the k was earlier i would say thanks all personally hate drinking at home oh is that what it is yeah it's a dark dark road you go we're so happy to have you here for sure uh, yes very true there was already a decline but I just think that the idea of this being periodic 
uh, thing like the flu will be uh, detrimental effects of like uh, I don't think it's going to be as bad as uh, uh, it may seem right now okay the second wave if we get a second wave I think we're gonna get a second wave some people are saying it's gonna be way worse than the first wave some people are saying there'll be a little bit of herd immunity and stuff happening but for what I understand there's mu mutation versions of this thing and whatnot um, we'll see and by the way just to let you guys know um, how deep are we into this Doop. Let me do this we're about 15 minutes in uh, two things uh, to let you guys know okay the the COVID uh, math stream where we look at the data at the beginning of next month may um, I'm thinking about it but I think what we're gonna do is not look at the data but talk about the theories of what's going on and the reason we're doing that is because uh, the technocrats the mainstream platforms and centralized power is trying to prevent discussion of how people feel about this and everything so I think it's a good idea to have the platform while we have it available to talk about this okay um, that's one thing the second thing is for the music live stream tomorrow that we're gonna do tomorrow night the odds are we're gonna do a sound check tonight with the other people that are on twitch okay so you might get an announcement that we've gone live I don't know how long it's gonna last but we're gonna try to do a sound check make sure we have everything set up for tomorrow night okay uh, just to let you know so um, you know we'll see we might just be on for a couple of minutes might be five minutes I don't know <laughs> we've never done and by the way since since you, there's a lot of you that are um, uh, have been on twitch for a long time you know the inner workings of it so we're gonna be doing starting here my partner is gonna do a DJ set two hour DJ set and then we're gonna kick it off to three other people kick it off to one person and then they're gonna kick it off to the other and they're gonna kick it off to the other right so it's gonna be like six and a half hour uh, DJ set right now I'm assuming the best way to do it is we stream and then we just host their stream the way they do it right is that the way we should be doing it and then we host the next person and we host the next person and they're gonna do the same right um, I'm guessing that's the best way to do it because all four are gonna be showing all four streams right just running it past you guys chicho you ever heard of uh, ashwa gadanda uh, similar to matcha ashwa gadanda no i've never heard of that uh, sounds african from africa similar to matcha but i find it f uh, flavorless and easy to consume really i've never heard about it and i do put honey in this by the way so it's sweet hopefully it doesn't I saw a study that said that it doesn't seem like it's uh, mutating rapidly but we'll see yeah there's so many studies out right now it's hard to uh, make sense of all of it right the, the new antibody tests are showing herd immunity rates are higher than expected yeah I'm seeing that as well right so that means our um, the the fatality rate is lower than what we've been seeing based on if we expect it's been out for a while before we detected it and there's already heard um heard uh, immunity in there right so the numbers we were, we're looking at was based on the official numbers with um we're looking at confirmed cases and recovered cases and we did a few some ratios and we had anywhere between 5 to 10 15 12 percent or something fatality rate so if there is it's out there already and there's a lot more people that have already got it and showing immunity and stuff like this then kicks down the fatality rate which is great one thing it does though it shows that the inf uh, infection rate uh, the R naught value is a lot higher than what was initially being stated right so it's way higher than three if it's already within reason right so the numbers are very problematic oh wow that sounds interesting we could have a, uh, like a like a little stat stream uh, regarding the COVID uh, oh regarding looking at the data if uh, 
the life expectancy stuff yeah for sure we could do we could do and look at the population distribution right so for example if we're looking at this population distribution is huge if you look at a specific country i don't know what the what the thing looks like let's say this is usa let's say this is nigeria nigeria let's say this is uh, uh where do we have a huge population uh youth uh, youth huge youth population that's coming up uh, Iran is one I think Iran or used to be so USA has a lot of baby boomers so if this is age zero to let's say 100 you would see you know I don't know what it looks like let's say let's assume it looks like this right lots of older people less young people we're seeing in nine months we're gonna see a blip of newborns right Nigeria has probably like this right i looked at the stats you know this is 100 this is zero right i looked at the stats uh about 10 years ago for nigeria and nigeria's population was 100 million uh i think at 2000 right they were expecting the population to be 300 million by 2010 uh 2100 and 100 years was supposed to triple right oh huge right and iran i believe it has a big youth population and average middle and stuff if you look at all this all of these the population densities uh i would love to delve into this stuff this stuff is fascinating because this stuff really dictates your economic economy and politics and uh, many things right theory stream sounds incredible yeah spider-man i think that's what we're gonna end up doing do you know if there's uh, any way to get access to the raw data <sighs> dude i tried i looked at i was trying to consolidate the stuff and we did like three months four months i love to play around with it uh i have the spreadsheet i have the spreadsheet for the first 70 days from january 20th i think we went until uh beginning of april i haven't entered this i was staying up with it on a daily basis but because the data is so problematic i haven't filled in the data for april yet so if you look at our patreon page or if you let us know if you do chicho uh covid uh 19 covid 19 you'll see the streams that we did previously where we looked at the data and we graphed them okay and if you want you can post a uh real almost being uh you can post a question on discord and one of us will link up the videos actually i do have a covid 19 playlist so you, on youtube so you can look at that obicham mathematica obicham mathematica <laughs> mathematica obicham i don't know what obicham is but mathematica we must be mathematica think about chicho i'm gonna try and be there tomorrow night and blast it through my speakers nice i have six speakers on one receiver two stacks of three nice you're gonna love the music man you're gonna love it hosting is perfect okay hosting is perfect that would be the best way to do it okay so we host awesome so all four people are hosting because the other three are new to twitch by the way i'll give you guys everyone's uh, i'll give uh, everybody's twitch account uh tomorrow uh, once everything's confirmed that would work yes i've seen it done before okay cool martin scroll <laughs> super i should go down i have four chicho rewards i feel rich nice you got four thousand four point seven thousand chicho rewards <laughs> so <laughs> what's the occasion tomorrow just uh we're uh, like i'm lucky enough to be to have friends in town and to be around music and i know a few djs in victoria that i've come to and i've i've gone to a lot of shows and stuff so so i'm lucky enough to have a lot of friends that are djs and they haven't had the opportunity to play uh, in any venues i knew some of them they were going to play my partner was going to play at a venue before covid hit and the and the venue got canceled the, the show got canceled so everybody's itching to play so we figured why not right let's do it and we might do, do this on a regular basis uh sharing music is phenomenal right and we'll have the uh playlist as well so you can check out the original tracks and everything right 
we have a two-day DJ stream full of electronic music and dancing nice well did I put two days six hours six and a half hours <laughs> I hope it's six and a half hours great to know thanks how advanced of math questions are uh, permissible high school mathematics lark so if you have math questions let us know we're sort of not going on math right now talking about everything else well sort of mathematics I guess hopefully you can pop pop high and say pa, 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 pa. okay I'm gonna scroll down da, 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 so analysis is no good I'm not sure uh, lark um, analysis it depends what are we analyzing what's the analysis COVID playlist <laughs> Danita how are you doing welcome welcome given uh, x squared plus p what does p need to be so that three times three x touches x squared plus p only once tangent 3x oh y equals 3x yeah uh, what about any slope like ax Ooh, i gotta think about this let's draw it out we'll check it out let's draw it out when we get any problem we need to draw it out right so given let's write the problem down uh so mask of raven has given us a problem which is fantastic right uh, get to the mathematics so we got uh, y is equal to x squared plus b so our first function should we use y let's use f of x f of x is equal to x squared plus b right what does p this dude right and that becomes the y intercept have to be uh, need to be so that 3x and we'll call that the new function h of x is equal to 3x so that h of x touches this parabola only at one point right so check this out let's graph this guy yeah. so this guy is a parabola it follows the form follows the form f of x is equal to a x minus i can't call it p uh, let's call it uh, m m squared plus n and m and n would be the vertex of the parabola they subscribe for hey spider-man thank you for the twitch prime sub uh analysis is in advanced calculus uh, yeah i wouldn't be able to do it lack of uh, caring mask of raven would know so our discord page people would know uh is proof based calculus on general real spaces oof yeah I'm pretty sure Olive, <laughs> not Olive, sorry, Olive, I saw your dog meme pop up. Um, dog emote pop up to crack me up. Uh, what do you call it? Let's go. Uh, Discord page. Uh, Odd Mick would know. Traumatic high school math memories are rushing in. Oh no. Take a look at this. This guy is the general form of a parabola, right? Where m is zero. So m is gone right and a is one this guy becomes one right so that's what we get well it happens to be if m is zero whoop, right and this guy is one then this being your vertex your vertex is zero and n is your p zero p okay i should call this p actually why not okay so that basically means this parabola is like this here 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 anywhere along the y-axis right this guy is a line right i'm in high school at the moment just kidding of course when i was actually interested in solving problems this guy's a line right this guy follows the form h of x is equal to mx plus b in this case the b is your y-intercept and the m is your slope so this guy is zero right and this guy is three now if you graph this here let's do this with a different color pen 
do this with a different color pen. If we graph this just general equation, this guy here, you would start off at zero, zero, and then go up three, and then over one, right? So that's this line here. Okay. Now, what the question is asking us, we only want this line to touch the parabola at one location, which means it's got to be tangent to it, right? So if you go like this, this line here, we have to bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. So it's going to touch this graph somewhere here, right? That touches it only once. Is that parallel? Oh, that's not parallel. That's horrendous. Let's make sure we make this thing parallel. Let's make this thing parallel. I'm going to stand in front, gang. I can't do it sideways. Better? <laughs> A little bit better. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, how do we do this? Right? We need to find... What was the question? We need to find a point. We need to find a point, right? We need to find a point. We need to find a point. Given that... Uh, what does P... Oh, no, no. We need to find P. So... What does P have to be? Oh, the P has got to be up there. I should have read the question more accurately. So let's modify this. So after you read a question or a problem, um, draw it and then read the question again. So make sure you got the question properly. So this is the general thing we had, right? However, this is the line. There is no unknown here. So that is the line. We're not moving the linear line. So I'm going to erase this and modify our problem so it represents what mask of raven was actually asking right so i'm going to erase this watch this right so mask of raven is asking this if we have this line right? x y y if we have that line yeah let's do it all in green and let's kill this because now we understand the me mechanism behind this, right? H of x is equal to 3x. Let's draw that line. 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then 1 over. So here's our line. Okay. So we want to know what does P have to be for this to touch the graph at one point. So basically we're finding, trying to find the y-intercept of this. Right? And I don't know if it's there or not. This is the unknown, right? Where is this? How do we do this? How do we do this? We're trying to find where they touch. Where they touch only has one solution. Just think about this. I haven't had a problem like this for a while. I went too far with the mask right? and I thought this was moving as well, right? Da, 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 da. Discriminant of discriminant, yes. Okay. Da, da, did I catch it? Ah. So how do we do this? How do we do this? So we need to find P. We need to find the vertex of the parabola. The Y part of the vertex for our parabola. We need it to be touching at one location, one solution. So the discriminant. So the discriminant has to be zero, that's right. So what you gotta do is just basically solve for the system of equations. Well, what's your drinking? This is matcha olive, check this out. This is matcha with, with uh, honey. And uh, I put in, uh, it's got uh, coconut oil in there too. So this is what you're gonna do. You're trying to solve for a system of equations. That's what the question is, right? So this is a solving a system of equations problem. Solve this system of equations. How do we solve the system of equations? We're trying to find out when does f of x equal h of x. So first step is, step one, 
step one, set f of x equal to h of x, right? Okay. By the way, I haven't done this type of problem. Just so you know, it's because I don't have any grade 12 students this year, which really sucks because <laughs> I'm not getting my high level practice problems coming at me. What is my ma matcha is uh, greens. It's like, I think it's got green tea in it and uh, different herbs in there. I'm not 100% sure. My partner's uh, the expert in this. So she feeds me this. That's awesome. Uh, super delicious, super good for you. Lots of greens and minerals and antioxidants in there, right? So we're gonna set f of x equal to h of x because that's the function and that's the function. So we wanna know when does this equal this? Well, this equals this when this equals this, right? So now what we do is we say f of x is x squared plus p, x squared plus p, and h of x is 3x, right? So we've got to solve this for p, right? Okay, it's high qual green tea powder, tea only. Is it just tea? Uh, inter, inter -C? So It's really good, seriously. Interesting. If you know it, then you know this drink. So I'm guessing you drink it because once you drink matcha, you go, okay, I want this part of my life, right? So how are we going to solve this? We grab this do key, bring it over. X squared minus 3x plus p is equal to zero. This is a quadratic. All things lead to the quadratic formula, right? All things, like seriously, quadratics is one of the major steps in mathematics that you have to master. I drink that just like the Japanese do. Nice. Is it Japanese drink, Martin? For, like, is it from Japan? There's different grades. Only ceremonial grade you should drink. Others are like for like putting on ice cream. Was it? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Why won't you uh, just divide the other side by three? Uh, because I want this side to be zero right when we're trying to solve an equation zero is, is is the grand master right if this side does not equal zero then we can't split this up into things multiplied together to give us this right so and we talked about this if you look up uh, uh, chicho the power of zero right if you have a times b times c times d equal to zero how could you solve for that how could what could a b and c a b c and d b well at least one of them has to be zero a equals zero b equals zero c is equal zero d is equal to at least one of them so all of them could be zero this can't be said to be true if a times b times c is equal to d you can't say a has to be d b has to be d or c has to be d it doesn't work so that's why we do this uh, we move everything to one side right now for us to solve for this there's three things that can happen here when a parabola and a line are trying to cross okay mask of raven x is equal to eta where our equal slope of a line da, 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 da. you're looking for roots exactly right so check this out if you're looking for roots of this there are three situations when you have a parabola and a line right three things that can happen you could have I'm gonna draw them here and then we'll erase them okay you could have a parabola and then a line crossing in two places right you could have a parabola and a line just touching it in one place which is the situation we have right or you could have a line where the line doesn't even touch it right if you have this situation where you have a parabola crossing a line or trying to figure out if a parabola does cross a line right then this is what you have to visualize so you go through you set the first function equal to second function you bring everything over to one side set it equal to zero and you're going to end up with a quadratic right because you have a quadratic and a line so combine them a line and a quadratic com combine to give you a quadratic right so what this does this is really um, what's the word called uh, transposing it or something like this where it's almost equivalent to finding the X intercepts of a single quadratic because that's what that is right these solutions are really 
if you want to think about it, giving you this situation, once you combine these two functions, this one would say, oh, the parabola crosses at two points. This one would say, oh, it just touches the x-axis. And this one would say it doesn't touch the x-axis at all. When do we get each one of these situations? When the discriminant in the quadratic formula is either is there let me erase this we're going to get the situation if the discriminant discriminant in this case is greater than zero here if the discriminant is equal to zero here if the discriminant is less than zero what that means is if the discriminant and the discriminant from the quadratic formula is this right b squared minus 4ac right because if you remember your quadratic formula what is your quadratic formula your quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac right square root of b squared minus 4ac all of it divided by 2a right so doing a little adjusting right i once made a smoothie da, 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 da. sorry mnp is equal to that so what we end up having here is the basically driving mechanism for the quadratic formula is the discriminant this guy here because this guy is this guy and this guy really tells you if you're going to have one solution if it disappears if it's zero if it's greater than zero you're going to have two solutions because you're going to have negative b plus that divided by 2a and negative b minus that divided by 2a or you're going to have no solutions when the inside of the square root symbol is negative because you can't take the square root of a negative number right so keep this in mind because this is really the mechanism behind solving this thing right so we're going to erase this i'm going to erase this as well okay so we want to solve for this right so we don't know what p is we want to find out what p is right so but we want to make sure the discriminant this guy x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a we want to make sure that this guy here is zero right because if it's zero then this thing reduces to negative b plus or minus square root of zero over 2a which is equal to negative b over 2a that means that we got this situation where the line is hitting the parabola at only one point okay so we're going to set the discriminant we're going to force it to be zero okay so we're going to say this situation this situation occurs for this when b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero well b is negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and p is p is equal to zero nine minus four p is equal to zero so negative four p is equal to negative nine divide by negative four so p is equal to three oh not three i took the square root of it for some reason nine over four i think i did that right anyway i hope so da, 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 da. is this right mask of raven did we get it or did i totally muck it up uh, two is the slope of the tangent, which should ring a bell. Uh, does it approach the line but not touch it? And there is a term for that. I can't remember. Is asymptotic to it? Is that what you mean? Sorry, I'm late. I'll always be making. How are you doing? Uh, I was uh, setting up a stream labs. Stream labs. Uh, the little widgets are fun. I'm here. <laughs> uh, the term for that would be asymptote. And no, it just touches. It just touches. P does equal. Yeah, we did it right. Ah. Ah. So that's our answer.
P has to be 9 over 4. So what that means is this guy, if you have the function f of x is equal to, let's write the solution here, f of x is equal to x squared plus 9 over 4. And if you have h of x is equal to 3x, then if you're solving for the system of the system of equations, it means boop, this. The, um, sorry, it doesn't mean this. It means we're getting this when the y-intercept is 9 divided by 4 is 2 and a quarter, right? So 1, 2 and a quarter. So that means the vertex of this parabola is going to be 0 and 9 over 4, 2 and a quarter, right? Great question, by the way. Great question. I would put this type of question on a grade 11 test, actually. A grade 11 or grade 12? Ah, it depends on the grade 11. Ah, okay, sorry. It's been a long time. Ask them to it. Chicho, we were talking about the second part of the question. What's the second part of the question, mask of uh, Like, what about for any slope AX? For any slope AX? Ba, ba, ba. if for for to touch in one location so it would be okay i'm going to erase all this if you like i can tell you if this interests you take a screen capture of it right and you can play the video again take a screen cap that's one way to take notes when you're if you're um, getting tutoring online or education online you just take screen captures then you just put those in your notes. Fantastic, right? You can edit out a chicho if you like. Just take that, right? So what if this was an A, right? What if this was A? Which is what I was going for when I laid out the problem initially, right? Mask of Raven, I was modifying. I was moving our line. I thought for some reason there was also, also variable in there that we need to figure out an unknown. Okay. So if there is an A there, then this guy becomes an A. We're just going to modify this, see where it takes us, right? So this guy becomes AX, right? I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase the rest of this. And we do have to... No, that's legit. We can keep that. Okay. Uh, yes, I wasn't awake for your stream. Sorry. Asymptote. I know that word. Uh, I've done this kind of math. Not that I understand. Asymptote is just it just approaches as a limit, right? The function just gets closer and closer, but never reaches it. Okay. So, what we do here, we still want it to touch the parabola at one location. So we still want this. So let's, um, oh, over here we have to fix this. So this part needs to be fixed. And this part would be, do, 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 bring this guy over. I should have just erased the three. 2x minus ax plus p is equal to zero. Now we can sub it in again. Uh, I think this is the way we should do it. Uh, so it's gonna be negative a squared minus four times one times p has to equal zero so that's just a squared minus 4p is equal to zero so p is equal to negative a squared negative four so p has to be a squared over four now what does that mean right yeah this is a cute way of getting one specific derivative photoshop uh, Sama hike over Jitro for optimum note review. <laughs> Funny. Sure, it rings a bell. Derivatives of the function for the parabola. Derivative, should we take? Yeah, derivative of the function for the parabola. For sure. Right? But could we do it? Uh, take the derivative here? No. That would give you the tangent line. Over here, basically, we're getting a relationship between P and A. So p has to be a squared over 4. Um, we can take the derivative of this. 
is going to get 2. Well, we still have 2, so that gives us a function for a given x value. Uh, yeah, that might do it. Let's check it out. Is that what we're talking about? So if we take the derivative of this, we're going to get 2x uh, minus a. Right? So that's any tangent line for the point P of where it crosses. And we set this equal to 0? No, that doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I don't think so anyway. Is that what we're looking for, mask of Raven? Derivative. That's what I don't understand. We put out a video for it, Olive. Did you look at that video? Take a look at that video. I tried my best to explain uh, uh, that calculus stuff, uh, what a derivative is. And there was a lot of people in the chat that were talking about it too. So, uh, and there was a f some people that commented on Discord. I, I believe you saw it. How do you use cosine to calculate the side of a right triangle? Sure, let's do mask of Raven. Once you know P is equal to A squared over four, what does X need to be? What does X need to be? Not saying you need derivatives, but it would make the question faster. What does X need to be? Dun, da, 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 but X can vary. Can it mask over even? Oh, I guess you could do this. Like if you're taking the derivative here, right? 2x minus a, this has to be 0. So 2x is equal to a, so x has to be a over 2. Right? Is that what you mean? Thank you for another interesting problem. Yeah, seriously, Mask of Raven. Thank you. I try to watch it, but I just fall off too fast. Yeah, I saw it, but I'm not smart enough to get it. Plus, there's a lang yeah, the language barrier too. And I talk Speedy Gonzalez style, right? So that's that's the answer. That's cool, cool question, uh, question mask of Raven. That's super cool. And by the way, what we did here, Olive, take a look at this. This is the function we're trying to solve for, right? So that's the function we're trying to solve for, and we're trying to find um, when, if you take the Drew, uh, um, what do you call it? If you um, when this parabola really just touches the x-axis, right? Where it bounces off the x-axis, if we don't even consider any of this, right? Then we find out that p has to be a squared over 4. So what we can do is say, okay, then what does x have to be? Take the derivative of this function. Let's assume this is f of x. And this is what we're doing here saying, God, that's a horrendous equal sign I just drew. Let's do this. What we're saying is f prime of x is 2x minus a. If we're saying that, then we're asking if this is supposed to supposed to be, we're trying to force it to bounce off the x-axis, right? Then we're setting the tangent to be 0, right? So we're going to set it equal to 0. 0 is equal to 2x minus a. And then we solve for x. And that what that means is this x value has to be a over 2. And the relationship between a over 2 and the relationship between a and p has to be this. It's uh, It gets a little bit layered, this one. Okay. If you plug x is equal to x equals a over 2 into that, where p where p is that you get the equality holding that's that's the way of saying it right um anyway thanks i enjoy offering fun problems with little twists yeah and good math problems to get the brain flowing uh and and layered as she says layered yeah uh it's to give you a little pause to think about the problem as you saw like for me this wasn't a straight up problem oh solve this solve this i have to sort of dig a little deeper and go okay what does this really mean and sometimes i'm off i go down the wrong road because as soon as i did it i had to turn around 
and ask the person that gave me the problem hey did we do it right we didn't go out and ask for the answer right away we try it out and if he said no we would have gone okay where is the assumption that uh, we may we made a mistake on right what did we think was happening that wasn't happening right which is what I did initially when I read the question I modified this initially the line right and then read the question again I went oh it was three right that's the way you have to approach math problems uh, so again anywhere anyone in school right now uh, if you're lucky enough to be in a class that challenges you that gives you problems where they're not necessarily very difficult technically they require a little bit of pause before attacking the problem and if you have someone that can uh, you know you can go ask questions off bounce off ideas on uh, that's the best way to learn that's the best way to learn right assuming P is a constant with respect to X assuming P is a constant with respect to S which it is the value of P is irrelevant since it vanishes under the derivative da, 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 da. oh over here is it irrelevant though because it still has to be the a connects up to the p oh yeah the driving force would be the a a is the driving mechanism for this relationship for this problem for sure yeah lack of uh, caring 100 i think hmm. i think i would get it if i just get a bit more patient solving the problem yeah for sure all of just enjoy the process there isn't uh like there's very few things in life that give you the opportunity to sit down and just pause and think about I don't know if we want to call it abstract but something that's layered like this that is very much connected that allows you to take something visual quantify it and solve for the visual problem like I don't know anything else that does this right so enjoy them enjoy I know it's difficult it's, it's you know the, 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 it's hard to convince people but once you get into problem solving it's very meditative right but my main issue is that I don't see it uh, big picture style I just learn the formula and put in the numbers and I hate doing that I want to understand what I'm doing all of you're not the only one so my my suggestion to you is if whatever you're studying right now you need to get it done get the marks for it do what you need to do but go back to earlier uh, levels of mathematics and try to figure out how the simple stuff works like do you know why an equation line is a is an equation of a line do you know why an equation of a parabola is an equation of a parabola a quadratic just answer some of those questions for you and it'll put everything else into gear it would be interesting to apply a derivative method to find roots for general cubic functions since the derivative of a cubic is a quadratic yeah I would love it if you would solve for an unknown side of a oh, right triangle I knew there was something else dude thank you for bringing it up again if you show me how I might go grab my dusty old cal calculator and do some trade uh, dude we're gonna do it right now racer kill how are you doing let's do some trick just uh and by the way gang if I if I missed the question I said we we're gonna do it and I forget about it uh, put a reminder up I get lost in the conversation sometimes sometimes if you show me papa papa what's the problem we're gonna do a trick problem right now when you say it like that math sounds truly it is beautiful all of it is beautiful ill ill if it, it's freedom it's one of the tools you need to be able to free uh, to be able to live as a free human being uh, otherwise you're dependent okay problem is if uh, you have and calculus is cheating okay thanks for the tip I'll do that calculus is basically about finding tangent stuff yeah yes calculating makes it easier so uh, trigonometry 
So we're talking about Sokotoa. So we got, let's call, let's, uh, what do you call that? Let me move this over. We can write the formulas in one side, right? So let's bring our triangle here. A, B, C. Usually, in my part of the world, you use capital letters to represent the angles of a triangle. So this is angle A, capital A. This is angle capital B. This is angle capital C. And when I write that, that's 90 degrees if it's a box, right? The beauty of, of the question is you get calculus results without necessarily needing calculus. Like great. 11, 12 could do. Nice. And in a triangle, here, I've done this before, but we do again. We do again. Take a look at this. Here's a triangle. Here's a triangle. Here's a triangle, right? I'm going to increase this side with at uh, this angle which side is getting bigger it's the blue side right so i'm going to decrease this side and the blue side is getting smaller right an angle in a triangle controls the opposite side of the triangle okay so this guy controls this so if capital a controls capital a angle controls this side i'm going to call this little a side little a that way we have a link between the two and this guy will control this that side oops little b okay and this side controls that and that side little c okay there are five basic formulas we know for tri right angle triangles two of them one of them applies to all triangles mathematics is indeed beautiful to paraphrase Galileo, quote, the laws of nature are written by the hand of God in the language of mathematics. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful quote, Catholic traditionalist. Quote, the laws of nature are written by the hand of God in the language of mathematics. Okay. Formulas we know for triangles, right angle triangles. Well, any triangles, sum, sum of the angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees okay angles triangles i cheat right shorthand right have fun guys it's bedtime for me stay safe you all bye bye olive sweet dreams right so does anyone know matlab can i get some help uh, on some code code if yes i wish i knew matlab there was a time where I tried to study it. Uh, Chicho, I've got my calculator out. Thank God for solar power cal calcs because I haven't touched this thing in years. <laughs> Let's do some trick. Also have a pen and paper. Ah, nice. Oh, nice. Let's do. So your first equation is some of the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees of any triangle. And then we've got Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? This squared plus this squared equals this squared okay side links and then we got the trig ratios right so we got the trig ratios and trig ratios are exactly what it says it is i should write this better so you can read it right trig ratios trig ratios and what are ratios ask yourself this what are ratios okay what are ratios we got sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse cos of an angle is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse tan of an angle is equal to opposite side divided by the adjacent side right and what are ratios ratios is one thing relative to another thing right so when we write down sine of an angle right it means pick any angle you want except a 90 degrees so either pick a or b so if you go to a if you go here the sine of a for this triangle 
sine of an angle, in this case A, it's the opposite side, this guy, which is A, divided by the hypotenuse. And this is the hypotenuse, which is C. Okay. Now, what's sine of B? Sine of B is equal to opposite of B is little b divided by the hypotenuse. Right? Let's go cos of B. What's cos of B? Cos of an angle, right? So whenever they say an angle, imagine yourself standing on that angle. We're here. Cos of this angle, here, let's do the blue sticking out. Cos of this angle is adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Well, there's two sides adjacent to this angle, right? But this guy already has a name. It's called the hypotenuse, okay? So this guy is going to be called the adjacent. So cos of angle B is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is A over C. A over C. Hick, yeah. Sine, cosine, tangent, right? Now take a look at this. Hey, sine of A is A over C. Cos of B is A over C. They're the same thing, right? Here's another formula. We're driving another formula right now, by the way. Okay. Just for the hell of it. Why not? All right. Now, take a look at this thing. Before we actually do some number crunching, I want you to appreciate uh, the beauty of a triangle and how some of these things are related. Now, some of the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. So for any triangle, right, this plus this plus this equals 180. 80 degrees, right? Can you effectively, effectively define secant and cosecant? Or is that out of a... Uh, for this one, we can't do that yet. Uh, I just typed in my calculator. <laughs> Dang bother. Right? So take a look at this. I'm already losing you. <laughs> I'm already losing you. So hold on. If, we, if I'm already losing you, let's do a simple calculation first. Check this out. That's too funny. 35 degrees, right? So here, let's draw this bigger. Let's do 35 degrees. I'm not going to do this proof, by the way. Let's skip this, right? I was going to prove to you that sine A is equal to cos 90 minus uh, A, and this just happens to be B, right? Just know that. That's just where we are, right? <laughs> No, I got it all right now. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Take a look at this. Let's do a simple calculation. Funny. Let's say this is 35 degrees, right? The general question you're going to get regarding trigonometry, the basic stuff that you, you're going to get, we found that kid in the class. <laughs> we already lost him. <laughs> Here's the question. They're going to say solve this triangle solve this triangle now how many pieces of information do you have in a triangle you have six pieces of info in a triangle and they go in pairs they're related right you have three angles one two three and you have three sides one two three and an angle is related to the side right so these guys are paired up those guys are paired up those guys are paired up so there's a relationship between the three and the three right but there's six pieces of info in a triangle now to find all the six pieces in the puzzle in this triangle you need to be told that one of the angles is 90 degrees and you need to have at least one side and you can have anything else then you can solve for the other six so you need three pieces of the info for a triangle to find the other three and one of them has to be a side and they have to tell you it's a right angle triangle. So they usually tell you it's a right angle triangle. That's one piece of info. So they give you one angle, the main angle. And they can tell you, let's assume they give you this. That's a five. Okay. 
So right now we have one, two, three pieces of info. One of them is the triangle, or one of them is the side, right? And you want to find the other three pieces. What are the other three pieces? We need to find this side, let's call this C. We need to find this side, let's call this B. And we need to find this angle. What are we going to call this? Big B, theta, W, anything you want. Let's be consistent with this and call this B. Okay. So my question is, what do you want to find first? What do you want to find first? Do you want to find B first, C first, or big B first? Do you want to find little B first or big B first? Which one do you want to find first thing? I want to have some matcha. B, little B. Okay, let's find little B. This is what you need to do. Whenever you're given a trick triangle, right angle triangle, when they say solve a right angle triangle, it's the questions that you ask yourself that are the key to solving problems, right? So you, you ask yourself this, you wanna find this, okay? If you wanna find this, look at the triangle and ask yourself, what information do you have? You're gonna go, okay, you know it's a right angle triangle, you have this side and you have this angle, okay? These are the formulas that you have, right? So you can go by elimination. Let's do this one first. Some of the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. Well, you're trying to find this. That really doesn't help you out in trying to find this, so you can skip this one. The next one is Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, you could call this one A because C is always your hypotenuse, by the way, right? Yep, perfect. This guy is going to be what? The big B. Do you want to find the big B first? We can, right? And by the way, whenever you get this, whenever you get a right angle triangle, here's a shortcut. I always get students that say, oh, we want to find this. Well, this plus this plus this equals 180. So they always go, oh, 90 plus 35, and this is 125, and then you go, 180 minus 125, right? And this becomes 7, 10, 55, right? So this guy's 55. Here's one place where you can save yourself a little bit of time. If you're dealing with a right angle triangle, it has to be a right angle triangle, then you know this is 90, right? Well, if that's 90, then 180 minus 90 is 90. So if you're dealing with a right angle triangle, you don't have to take it all the way to 180. You know that this plus this is 90. So for you to find this guy, all you got to do is go 90 minus 35 equals 55. It just saves you a little bit of time. All right? That's all. But it's well worth it. Like you save yourself a little bit of time, right? Okay, so we found big B. We want a little B, but we found big B, that's okay. So this is 55 degrees, okay? Now let's go for this. Now you ask yourself this, okay? Well, this one didn't help us to find little B. This one didn't help us to find, well, it, it's not gonna help us to find little B because it's gonna be five squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, we've got two unknowns in this. It doesn't work. To solve for one unknown, you need one equation. If to solve for two unknowns, you need two equations. So Pythagorean theorem is going to work. To solve for this, we needed these two, both of them. So to solve for any side using the Pythagorean theorem, you need two sides. Then you go here. Okay, sine theta. So sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So if you want to put yourself here, right? Because we had this angle to begin with, right? So if you put yourself here, sine of 35 is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, that doesn't include B, so that's not going to help us. Let's go here. Cos of 35 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, that doesn't help us either because it would be cos, cos of 35 is B over C. That's two unknowns. 
right? Then you go to 10, you say 10 of 35 is opposite, which is 5, over B. That's going to work because that is B only that we have to solve, right? So you're going to go 10 of 35 is equal to 5 over B. Cool. Keep in mind, we couldn't do it with these ones. We couldn't isolate B. Okay. Yeah. Tan of money is 5 over B. So what you can do now is you can just punch this in your calculator. It's just a number. Tan of 35, this guy, is just a number. I, I see everyone just punching in always at the same time. Is that what it comes out to? But I usually just do the cross multiplication right away. B is equal to 5 over 10 of 35. Do we have confirmation? Is that what it is? I'm going to punch it in uh, just to make sure. So we're going to go 5 divided by uh, 35, 10 of 35. Where's my tricks? Boop. Boop. It's 7.1, right? Because 10 of 35, oh, you punched in 10 already, right? So this would be, here, let me do it the long way. So you see what's going on. So we got 10 of 35 is equal to 5 over B. 10 of 35 was, I think that was 0.7. Yes, you're back, Chicho. How are you today? Lark, how are you doing? Happy Friday, happy Friday. 35, let me do 10, 10. So 0 0.7, so 0 0.700, right? Yeah is equal to 5 over B and then cross multiply so 0 0.7 B is equal to 5 and then divide by 0 0.7 so B is equal to 7.14 I think it was right so 5 divided by oops divided by 0.7 is 7.14 so this is equal to 7.1 oh not this one B is equal to 7.1. B is equal to 7.14. Now, whenever you're doing trigonometry, whenever you're solving for triangles, as soon as you get an answer, you ask yourself, does this make sense? Remember, it's the questions that really are the driving mechanism behind you solving a problem, right? So as soon as you get to here, and in life in general, so questions you ask that are important. Matt, how are you doing? You ask yourself, it, does it make sense for B to be 7.14? Does it make sense and why? Answer that question then. Why? Or anyone else. Why does this, at least it could be a valid answer. And let me ask you this. If So to give you an idea, no, because A is equal to 5. Well, let's check it out. Let me put it this way. If B was equal to 4, would that make sense? Would it make sense for B to be equal to 4? And C is bigger than A. C has to be bigger than A. Yeah. Angle is smaller, 35 degrees. Exactly. All right. So take a look at this. If, then it is true, an angle controls the opposite side, 35 is the smallest angle. So 5, because it controls that, has to be the smaller side. And we haven't figured this one out yet, but that's the hypotenuse. We're going to assume it's bigger, right? Then 35, this side has to be smaller than this side because this side is controlled by 55. So whenever you're solving for triangles, you always ask yourself that does that number make sense or any problem whenever you're doing calculations to solve any problem you ask yourself does this number make sense is that valid i sometimes fall into the trap where i write down the answer and then i look at it I go oh that was ridiculous of course that can't be the answer because the number doesn't make sense this number makes sense right because this side had to be bigger than that side because this side is controlled by the angle 55 this side is controlled by the angle 35 and angle 35 controls this side then this side has to be smaller than that side because that side is controlled by the angle 55 and angle 55 is bigger than angle 35 right it's a loop sort of then how are you going to find c that's the only one left 
how we're going to find C. Right? How we're going to find C? We can use anything, any of the trick formulas that have hypotenuse in them. Like we're not going to use tan because tangent has opposite and adjacent. We're looking for a hypotenuse. So we already have both angles, right, that we can use for sine and cosine. You never really use the 90 degrees for Sokotoa. And this is referred to as Sokotoa, right? So ka toa. These guys, right? Sine is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. It's just a way to remember the words, right? Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, or remember the formulas. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent, if you want to remember it that way. For me, I just I just knew this. I never really go with Sokotoa. I just know sine. When you go to grade 12, you'll find out the sine is really related to the y-axis, right? And cos is, it's just, there's more to this, right? So how are we going to find C? What are we going to use to find C? We can use cos, we can use sine. What else? We can also use the Pythagorean theorem because we have A and B. Then we can just use Pythagorean theorem to find unit circle life. Yeah, I'll always be making unit circle. The bigger the angle, the bigger the projected line. Perfect. That's exactly it. Uh, thing, right? Understanding journey is more important than the destination. <laughs> Martin. Right? So over here, let's use the Pythagorean theorem. We haven't used it yet. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, C is your hypotenuse. So 5 squared plus 7.14 squared is equal to C squared. So C squared is equal to, or C, let's write down C, I'm running out of space, right? So what we can do is say, take the square root of both sides. So C is equal to square root of 5 squared plus 7.14 squared, whatever that comes out to. So 25 plus, I guess, 49 plus squared. How I see a math problem, yeah understanding the journey is more important than the destination yeah it's not as important if you get the right answer is did you do it right the process because you might have had little hiccups along the way and if you didn't have any hiccups along the way you got the answer wrong then your assumption at the beginning or somewhere in the middle through the process was wrong right mask of Radiance says definitely agree yeah i'm with uh, yeah uh, martin for sure 100% right a trigonometry it's powerful it's brilliant 8.716 and does it make sense for it to be 8.716 yeah because 90 degrees controls this right and that's the biggest angle I would have expected it to be a little bit bigger but we can do here I'll do it on my side just to confirm that way you are not just guessing at the answer you'll be able to fix mistakes yeah and by the way one of the f one of the things as if I know there's uh, uh, always be making for sure does this I'm pretty sure he does this um, any good teacher does and always be making uh, from the interaction we've had is seems to be a very good teacher right you always try to get your students to find their own mistakes right as soon as you can get a student, if they've made a mistake, don't give them the answer. Don't show them right away where they made the mistake. Ask them, where's the mistake? Where did it go wrong? And get them to go through the whole process. Right? Quote. And so I continue traveling, hopefully, which is better than I than to arrive. Ah, nice. Yeah, it's like life is a journey, right? Who wants to reach the end? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice ride man I don't want to get off yet when does this ride end when does this ride end no it's, it's, stop asking the question right uh, enjoy the ride enjoy the ride it ends when it ends right fun problem trigonometry trigonometry I'm gonna drink more matcha I want to grab a seat for a second exactly enjoy the flow enjoy the flow
the infinity question. When does it end? When does it end? I love Spider-Man. Chicho, you have uh, you have early education videos, right? Yeah, and I'm gonna be making more. Uh, as soon as I free up some time, I got some stuff uh, regarding multiplication, just continuation of what we had. I'm going to be adopting with my wife after this craziness is over, and I really want him, her, to watch some. Oh, dude, no way! Awesome, awesome! Congrats on that, by the way. Oh, that for that kid is gonna be so lucky. You're gonna teach him mathematics, and you got a comic book collection. And oh, dude, your kid is uh, you got lucky kid, lucky kid. Oh, that looks delicious too. Your beverage, yeah, it's super good, creamy. It's crazy, right? Very nice, very nice. And this is good, uh, good matcha. And I have walnuts and almonds here as a snack in general i just pour a bowl, bowl for myself and i eat this i mean you shouldn't eat this much nuts in a day but sometimes i do i try to make this this much last it depends sometimes i go through this much in one day which is too much right um but sometimes i eat this much i try to make it last like four five six maybe a week maximum when I'm eating nuts anyway sometimes I pop them solo sometimes you pop them together huh? power food Also, I think the thing I posted in Discord yesterday is a good example of if you really know how a tool was made, was made, you kind of better understand how it works, and you can do more, do more with it. One hundred percent, masquerade. I totally agree. That's a great way of putting it. If you know how a tool was made, you can do a lot more with that tool. You know its weaknesses. You know its strengths, right? Catholic tradition is congratulations says to Spider-Man brother that is wonderful what a blessing what a blessing thanks so much Chicho Spider-Man said I have this all written down and I'm going to try and calculate another problem with different numbers nice thing bot good stuff brother or sister of course right thank you that warms my heart they will be very lucky <laughs> nice kind of similar to the recent video you made yeah the recent video always been making put out was really good just the learning process what it takes right i now realize how messy my note making is it's basically a code only i can crack and dingbot one of the best ways to improve your uh learning uh process is to tighten up the work really tighten up the work if your eye if you're looking at a page and your eye has to constantly scan all over the place to find the next link the process of how to do something you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes you don't you want you want your eye motion to be as minimal as possible you want the um, information to flow right it's like speaking it's like saying a sentence if you throw words out there random that if you had put them together it it's coherent if you throw them out at random it's a it's it's a puzzle people have to solve it right you don't want a puzzle within a sentence that's supposed to have a meaning mathematics is the same way right have a nice flow to everything the kid is going to be living the good life good life math and comics what can go wrong what can go wrong hopefully they don't they don't read some of the evil villains out there and go oh they're geniuses i want to follow in their path oh no dr doom awesome man happy for you Ding Ma says, brother, ding, okay? Brother, it is. Basically, laser vision that only points at what you need. Yeah. Uh, and aware of the periphery. Aware of what you've done in the in in different different parts. 
Right. Nasco Raven. I'm sorry. I missed something. I heard my name. It's just regarding your uh, always making your previous video that you put out. It was like 16 minutes or something talking about the learning process, right? It was it was very good, profound, right? Understand Chicho, I I understand Chicho. Martin made a comment earlier about knowing how a tool is made. Yeah, Masquerade says is amazing and related to your video. Chicho agreed, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, right? Fantastic. We do a nice little math on these math streams. I like it. I'm talking and conversing, right? Super good. I can't wait for the test run tonight. Oh yes, Exper experiential experimental learning is the key. Yeah, fun stuff. What do you guys got planned for the weekend? Slowly, the the recommended quarantines or lockdowns are being lifted. So. learning through doing learning through experience yeah i used to tell people uh you need to learn from other people's mistakes because if you only learn from your mistakes you're going you're not going to learn very fast right because you only have one life you're one individual there are only a certain number of mistakes you can make in your life before it takes you out but if you learn from other people's mistakes then there are multiple people's mistakes multiple people's lives experimentation you're learning from and that's what you really learn speedy gonzalez style right you just suck in the information if you can i should take a pic of uh, of my notes from this and post it in discord it's a it's a mess it's actually kind of like for sure thing but and one thing i do just to let you know when i work with students i want to see their work because once i look at their work i know where the problems lay right where the problems are so i try to tighten their work on that process and i sit down with students and i if i have the opportunity i go over their problem solving abilities and i say hey listen why do you have this over here this belongs over here because it's with this guy or why do you have this right under this this is side work that you should put on the side so one of the things that I do as someone that tries to help people learn mathematics, I try to explain to kids or to my students how to write the text, right? And one of the examples I use, and my students crack up when I do this, right? I look at their work and if it's really messy, this is what I do. Right? stand on the shoulders of giants of course but i very much believe in learning through mistakes yeah mistakes is the key right everything i know was learned that way <laughs> yeah martin some of it hard lessons they eh? some of it hard lessons i would argue that the majority of all learning that has ever happened happened that way you just erase their work <laughs> do martin what a teacher yeah I don't erase it yeah i know i just erased the work no wrong 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 no i look at the work let's say it's a mess and then i go i go listen here i'm gonna write a sentence you read it to me right oops what did i write unless you saw me writing every letter in a row what did i write simmer how are you doing hope your your friday is going well damn i wasn't paying oh oh you weren't paying attention you lost it right i was also uh, going to ask you something oh i'll always be making masquerade to always be making it's like <laughs> anagram it's like anagram right something about that exact thing the balance between exper experiential learning and quickly getting the fundamentals through root learning and what role that has in education i wrote i like apples right so if i write it like this it's a, it's a mess no one can read it right but i like apples i like 
apples, right? So when I see a student that has messy math work, I go, look, if you're messy with your mathematics, it's basically trying to decipher what you did before. Like, if you made a mistake, you gotta look back and try to make sense of that. Forget about it. Tighten up your work. It's a sentence. When you write an equation, x squared plus 5x is equal to 7. That's an equation, right? But it's also a sentence in mathematics. This means something, right? So I try to explain to students, people learning mathematics, they're the same thing. They're sentences. Tighten up the work. You don't want to write this. That's crazy, right? That's useless. Masker is a topic for debate. I, I pretty much universally reject learning through fundamentals until you are able to learn. I don't know if I would reject it. Always be making. Uh, I think fun, some fundamentals are have just become fundamentals, right? It's like basically evolution, right? So some of the stuff, some of the core stuff, some people in, in our innate ability that they're absolute truth to a certain degree right although that is even a real work word too busy writing naughty words on your calculator <laughs> all good thanks buddy awesome awesome simmer where's the k did i miss the k right there oh yeah my writing sucks by the way all right do as i say not do as do as i do right looks like an av that's my king. I script. Right. One thing I do that when I work with students, that way they really have to pay attention to what I'm writing for them to follow the work, right? Once they know how to decipher my writing, man, they learn fast. Right. Imagine being so good at math, you write poetry for those with higher knowledge and capacity for understanding. Uh, Ding bobber that's what people do what's the equation e oh man i don't know what it is e negative pi i is equal to zero i missed something did i miss something there's one more something in there x is equal to five plus 53 to the power of a half minus plus or minus oh did you solve for this quadratic formula Greetings. Seems like I missed something interesting. But uh, talking about education and learning. Yeah, and education and learning is crazy interesting. Oh, negative one. Where's zero coming? I thought zero was in the equation as well. E to the power of i pi is equal to negative. I thought there was a zero in there too. Oh, you're not 100% sure you put question mark. Oh, you have God. Oh, yeah, I guess it's minus. Is it minus on this side? That is minus. Ch -ch -ch. Minus 1 is equal to 0. Right. You just bring it over. Right. Smith, thank you very much. Should have done that earlier. Right. Masquerade and Chicho. Always be making. Experience allows us the tools necessary in order to actually make sense of the fundamentals. Otherwise, they're just abstract symbols on a page. There are few who can learn that way, but I um, argue most cannot, do not. Um, it depends on some stuff, right? If you're going into theoretical physics, then you have no choice but to think about the theories, right? So it really depends, uh, always be making, in my opinion. Because I have students that, and I've worked with students that really like to take their, and just imagine the possibilities, right? And that's just theorizing. And they learn the mathematics extremely well. And then I also have, have had and have students that are more hands-on and they want to know the intricacies of a specific system and how that applies in the real world. And they learn that very well. So it depends what scale on oh, the macro micro where they want to be right it should be plus Boop. 
always be making uh, and there are times when fundamentals must be learned prior to experience I agree for example it is prudent to learn about how to safely deal with electricity before one starts to wire up high voltage ampere circuits yeah 100% driving a car is an example as well I mostly but agreed you have to drive you can learn about it read about it all you want but you have to drive to get the experience in right I mostly like about uh, about mathematics teaching and I'm just wondering what a purely exp experiential math journey from nothing to say calculus would look like good question mask of raven always be making do you know i think there are people out there who who have gone through that they just visualize the whole thing chicho it does but we'd have to go case by case because i specifically disagree with your theoretical physics example but it certainly requires a uh, facilitator teacher for sure um for sure for majority of humanity i think there are savants out there that just see it okay have your kids uh have your kids lick a battery mm -hmm. some people like it but there's levels of it right if they like licking a battery especially the nine volt ones put it on your tongue ooh, right i even do it still sometimes right it's not a good idea to go put your tongue inside the socket right so you have to know that that'll kill you right? if n is f of n if n is odd n over 2 if n is even oh this is this a piecewise function you can't get zero by taking a power of something non-zero you can't get zero by taking a power of something non -zero. yeah what's that experimental i think just doing experimentally doing instead of theorizing with you know, one or two if you wiped out the troops uh dirk war stuff uh we're doing a current events sort of i guess economic stream in a couple of days we can hypothesize about that then maybe it's like learning a new language that has no connection to any others you wouldn't want to use us to iterate the function would you da, 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 da. do uh, world war ii uh it was a huge weight was on russia world war ii was decided on the eastern front anyone says otherwise is mistaken okay dude i know uh what that function is i googled it that's where the facilitator comes in uh, but a child would be able to make that connection after experience only otherwise you're teaching through fear oh i don't know about that always be making uh, for sure we all need teachers there, there's no doubt about it uh, but life can be a teacher right and that's experience i guess so that's the collapse sequence it's unproven if the sequence is finite for all starting points uh, always be making masculine i'll write that down as a philosophy question experiential mathematics it is a real thing let us know always be making the math folder or something mask of raven that function is related to the fact that if you iterate that dude on any natural number it will go to one this one i'm not sure what you mean by iterate iterate that number iterate iterate oh god i gotta pull out my dictionary that hasn't been proven or is that the one that ding uh, ding bobber says that wrote down man is doing math uh Kurt Doodle? i don't know what that is i once had an english teacher with a funny high-pitched voice 
and the first thing he said to uh, is in grade 11 university english was quote this is the hardest course you'll ever take there's a 59 percent fail rate end quote yeah i didn't do well but i passed <laughs> hilarious that's funny <laughs> a razor kill no the class sequence the class sequence if n is even half it if it's not even then multiply it by three and add one Oof. his name is Jicho. no martin delu 005 hi booker how are you doing my father once said that if you laugh then the whole world laughs with you and if you cry then i'll give you something to cry about you <laughs> I hope it was a nice guy because if he was i like his sense of humor if it was yeah that cracked me up 59 percent sounds like the teacher isn't very good <laughs> yeah if if half more than half the class is failing the teachers were in this if 25 percent of the class is failing uh you got to look at what's going on right uh, start with any number then all end in one for all numbers we've tried but we don't know if it's true that it always ends in one this goes beyond me right now proof wise oh we're coming up to the end of the stream so i can't explore that right now he destroyed essays and tore theses apart until you had a deeper understanding of essay writing in english good teacher but i didn't realize it at the time okay dane bobber that's good I had I had a good English teacher and uh, my best English teacher was uh, when I did geophysics he was my boss I gave him my first report came back red it was bloody he goes what the hell is this <laughs> just throw it on my desk I was like <laughs> oh my god he goes try again oh my Jesus why can't the government print their own money why do the Rothschild that's politics brother that's politics uh, you're welcome to come talk to us about it when we do politics economic streams Durka 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 one okay and we do talk about that stuff during math streams nah not so much oh we have a hold on we got a command I forgot about our command check out our command check this out Boop. here's our command please so <laughs> exclamation mark politics Please keep politics and other heavy top subjects to their respective streams. And we'll be happy to speak about it. And by the way, if you want to know who I am, go to my blog. Okay. And I wrote about politics, economics, and what you want to talk about. I've been writing about it since 2006, 2007. You'll find my articles online. I used to be on the front page. Hit the front page of Dig and Reddit at the time. Okay. Just to let you know okay uh you don't need to preach to the choir contribute to the conversation at hand because mathematics will buy you freedom shouldn't be great in the first place at least in any way like we currently do mask of raven i totally agree we shouldn't be grading in the first place at least in a way we weigh like we currently do and always be making put out another video which he made a very good point where he said when you're at work you don't have your boss grading you some some places do but most i've never had it oh you get a b chicho or you get a c or you get an a chicho there's no grade it's just the work you do right and collaborations you have so if we don't grade people why we're we grading we don't grade people in life maybe wall street would like to but forget about that crap I think he was trying to scare us I don't know he once was reading out our grades to us and said we could say no to him uh, reading it aloud one kid said no and he said loudly for himself and anyways the whole class laughed. that's your teacher too funny man no mercy and it sounds like he was training you guys for life what to expect outside of university right yay another command i now know ah nice spider-man 
kind of mean but it was funny at the time for sure that's bad teaching depends depends but in general yeah you don't want to do that embarrassing people is just going to discourage them yeah but it might light the fire behind other people's people's asses right i don't do that personally i find the humor in that but it can destroy people and you don't want to do that he might know english i don't know how but he doesn't know teaching i agree with you 59 percent of the class is failing he doesn't know teaching i regularly fail many students but it's because they have they have me for one period a day and every other teacher is traditional i don't blame them it's indoctrination yeah he was preparing us for university good grimnor wow x plus two x is that x supposed to be x squared x squared plus seven x five x oh yeah it's this guy he goes seven no is it <laughs> that's the meaning of life by the way grimmer grimmer wow this is this is the unified field equation <laughs> unified field theory <laughs> who needs the who needs all four uh what do you call it uh the thingamajigis uh the laws the the nuclear strong nuclear weak nuclear electromagnetic and gravity right we just need x but i never went went to college and dropped out oh that's why your calculator is dusty good thing you were wise enough to buy a solar calculator is that a double negative let's see if we can do it in our heads what 21 plus 5 oh no that's uh, why do you have positive 5 in there your <laughs> your your math your math writing that sort of was a little wacko but uh, so what is it uh, 21 times 5 is 105 right negative negative is negative plus it bring it over 75 divided by 21 so 75 over 21 uh, I always been I have a math question some old math book defined pi it's it's it, they're wrong defining it it's an estimation very strange I never and what they're trying to do always be making is estimate pi right and I have students that do this right instead of writing down instead of writing out 3.4 oh sorry 3.14 dot 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 they go 22 over 22 over 7 is it 22 over 7 I never use it right and they say this is pi it's not pi they're lying to people right this is approximately equal to pi depending on I what is that equal to I don't even know how accurate that is so they're trying to it's it's ridiculous textbooks are brutal yeah it's 3.142 ba 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 so they use this to approximate pi and one of the reasons they used to do it is because people didn't have a calculator right it's silly i always find it interesting when folks refer to our system of uh, letter grades as traditional the assignment of letter grades is actually a modern uh, practice employed for a little more than a couple of hundred years yeah catholic tradition is here's the thing regarding a lot of things in our societies you talk to certain people and they always they go it's always been like that and you look at them you go always been like that like no matter what it is maybe prohibition maybe this it's always been like that i'm like always you mean in your lifetime it's been like that that doesn't how egocentric just because in your lifetime it's been like that they say always been like that so you can't make changes it's like what crazy ding bobber are you losing <laughs> losing focus again <laughs> by the way uh ding bobber if you like the calculator thing uh 8008 plus 8008 equals watch space dandy watch space dandy you'll in the first two minutes you'll be hooked right he he goes to a space drive-in that you're gonna love okay space dandy split 10 with three 
Do you know what pi is exactly in Taylor polynomial form? No, I don't. No. You gotta put dot 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 at the end. Grimner, wow. 10 divided by 3 is not 0.33. Stop is 0.33. Dot dot dot. Repeating. I just want to figure that out. You're not wrong. It's just modern parlays. I'm just going to tonight thank you nice yeah watch it you'll love it okay gang should we call the stream <laughs> no <laughs> let's call the stream gang uh, people have lost focus they're losing it <laughs> calculator memes that's that i guess that would be one of the original calculator memes right Swedish math is kind of good. My pleasure, Dingbot. Thank you very much, mods. Thank you very much, Mask of Raven, Catholic traditionalist, uh, doing the mathematics, Martin, Spider Man, uh, and everybody that was here. Great conversation. It is weird. I'm going to do more math after the stream. Nice. The chaos of mathematics, the chaos of mathematics. Hayden Love, right? Hayden Love. Mostly love. Gotta love it gotta love it um aside from that gang let me give you let you know where we are just in case you're here new and do our little closing thank you my pleasure thank you all i do enjoy good problems bringing order to chaos is the end goal haven't done any in so long no. so thanks for being here gang okay patreon follow us there support us there it's the biggest bang for your buck and it's all open nothing behind paywalls so i do share as much as i can okay uh we are live streaming this on twitch you want to follow this work live twitch is where you want to be at okay uh, and you can sub uh follow on twitch and that is also a great way to support this project i do announce these things on man <laughs> twitter gap minds vk and elo okay those are the platforms that i announce things on so you can follow the work there all the links will be in the description of this video i am uploading this these videos on youtube and bitshoot and we do have youtube membership available and youtube membership is a great way to support this project as well okay uh, aside from that you know what that is flatten the curve uh, reduce the pressure on your healthcare workers no matter where you are some places overwhelmed some places not if you're not overwhelmed where you are it doesn't mean certain places haven't been overwhelmed okay so take care uh, take care of people okay uh, be kind to people aside from that gang i'll see you guys tomorrow for dj set we're going to do a practice live stream uh sort of sound check tonight hopefully it works okay so we can do our six and a half hour dj set with four djs tomorrow and then we're doing a couple of other live streams uh the following day so there's three more live streams coming in the next three days aside from that thank you for the support thank you for the love thank you for the subs thank you for the follows bye everyone